Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I always wanted to do a Janie ponytail, but I just wasn't sure if it would work with my 4C hair because I wasn't sure if my hair was going to be as slick as the other pictures or videos I've seen um, with the Janie ponytail and I decided to try it out. So I'm going to start with got to be glue. So you're going to need got to be glue, edge control, um, willpower and also a strong arm to do this hairstyle so I'm just going to be applying the got to be glue all over my hair you can go in sections but I was kind of like too lazy to work in sections and I'm just going to apply it and then brush my hair up I'm gathering my hair for a ponytail and this is where you need a strong arm because to get my hair into this ponytail like I really had to do some major arm work and you need to use a scrunchie like one of those not the cheap scrunchie or rubber band one of those scrunchies that's more than a dollar you know stepping up in the price and that's one of the scrunchies I used and yeah, once you get a good grip, it takes a couple tries to get a good grip. Um, once you get a good grip, just wrap the scrunchie around your um, ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect either. I'm going to be using this edge control. And this is the key for a really slick high bun. If you just use the got to be glue, it's not going to be as slick as whenever you put the edge control over it. And I'm just using one of those edge control combs and just slicking it all up. I'm using the same edge control to do my edges and then I'm going to tie down my hair. And so I'm using some of my leftover Marley hair and I'm just going to braid that onto my ponytail or my little bun. And I'm going to braid it to the side that I want the ponytail to fall on. And then I'm going to bobby pin the end of the braid. This is the hair I'm using for the ponytail. I got this hair at the beauty supply. Um, I know the name isn't really Claire over here. I will try to find it and leave it down below. But it was $99 or no, $9.99. And I got two packs of these. Guys, you don't have to buy like expensive hair. <laughs> Please save your $300 bundles for another hairstyle because um i mean i guess if you want to use like 300 hundred dollar hair on this ponytail you can but um anyways i am pinning a bobby pin onto the weave and then i am attaching the bobby pin with the hair onto my hair then i'm just going to wrap it around and i went overhand but um you can pretty much wrap it however you want to but try not to like skip a lot of spaces when you're wrapping it so that way the hair um, is thick and there's some like spread out random spaces in between so I pretty much just did this for the entire ponytail and as you're wrapping make sure you're also bobby pinning it together if you do not use any bobby pin and you just wrap the hair whenever you're done and you tug on the ponytail a little bit, the whole ponytail is going to fall apart. So make sure you use bobby pin and I pretty much just wrapped it all the way to the top.
Now I'm just going to be wrapping this golden wire around my hair to give it that kind of chainy look and don't get the cheap little wire <laughs> because it's not as good quality as like the really thick one that's a little bit more expensive. Um, I think by expensive I mean I pay more than one dollar for this. So this is actually two dwellers. So, so I just wrap it around and um, I actually use the whole thread. I wrap everything around and I just make sure that I'm wrapping it to the side that I want the ponytail to lean. And yeah, that is actually about it guys. This hairstyle was actually pretty simple. I really wasn't sure if I could even do this hairstyle on my 4C hair because I've never seen it done on actual 4C hair before. So I just thought my hair had to be like texturized or relaxed, but I'm really happy I tried it out. Um, yeah, so this is the final look. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and also follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be um, posting more stuff on there. So if you actually just want to see like what I'm doing on like a daily kind of basis, follow me on my Instagram. The link will be in the description and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.